Hey guys, everything new under the sun. What you're looking at is a 100 amp uh, battery load tester, and I got it on sale, about $35 from Canadian Tire. It was a Black Friday sale, and I was looking to test my off grid solar batteries. I've got a bunch of them, and so I was able to get this unit. Uh, what you can see there is that's the actual uh, coil that is actually heating up uh, and producing the 100 amp load that you get. So this is a Motor Master. It's kind of your cheap brand. $35 Canadian. Probably about $20 US. So fairly cheap. You can work at, you can use this for a 6 and 12 volt uh, lead acid battery. That's what it's suggested for. And of course it's meant for a regular size car battery. So here's the box. We'll do a, just a quick unboxing. Um, we'll take it out. There's not much to it. There's a manual which tells you you know the basic uh, things. How to read it. How to use it. Now this isn't going to test your amp hours of your battery, how many amp hours it has left, but it'll get, it'll go a long ways to confirming <clears throat> that the battery can take some load. Because what do you use off-grid solar power batteries for? You use them to take uh, some sort of a load, you know, in in terms of amp hours. And so you want it to take some load and to show you and to confirm that there's no uh, dead cells in the battery. So you can see it there. It has uh, some instructions on the back and the front. Uh, it's uh, not the highest quality metal uh, construction, uh, but it is all metal. Uh, it seems to work. It seems functional, and it does draw 100 amps. Um, so it tells you what the what the meter on the front says. It's pretty explanatory. If you're in the green, you're good. If you're not in the green, the battery's probably must be replaced or it's bad. There is some adjustments for different uh, negative temperatures you're supposed to uh, read the the scale uh, differently so the first thing I did was I tried the uh, car battery the car battery is about um, it's not the best battery it's probably a couple years old it's not super strong but it still works fine you can see here that it drops down I've got the button on and it drops down to about 800 cold cranking amps and it's still in the green so overall it's a good battery I let off on the button and it bounces up above 12 volts, so it's sitting about 12.5 or something right there. So you're basically supposed to push the button to uh, load up the 100 amp load, or to start the 100 amp load, and uh, and then you basically hold it for 5 or 10 seconds while this thing heats up, and you can determine whether your battery is able to, s to sustain that load, 100 amp load, uh, you know, for the duration of it. And sometimes you'll see it slowly go down. This is a look at my um, a deep cycle battery in my camper and this is a big uh, group 27 Nautilus Ultra XD battery this is a $300 battery it's about five six years old now and it has lost some of its capacity because I, I, I treated it really badly you'll see it go up to 14 that's because it's on its uh, charger its camper charger right now and that's why it's floating well above that <clears throat> um, in the next clip I actually take off the charger so you can just see the battery. You should let the battery sit there so it doesn't have kind of a charge sitting on it uh, from, uh, you know, just being charged up. So this is sitting above 13 volts. So I go ahead and uh, engage the load. And it still works pretty well. You can see the needle kind of slowly moving downwards. You don't want to see that, me that needle um, continuing downwards. But uh, being six years old and, and, and being used very... Uh, in a rough fashion with my solar power experiments, um, it still is able to maintain a load. Now it doesn't have, uh, this is supposed to have 90 amp hours. I'm sure it doesn't have that. I've used and abused it. Um, I don't know how many amp hours it has. This of course doesn't test it, but at least lets me know that um, it still at least is able to um, provide at least 100 amps uh, current uh, when asked for. These two batteries are in my uh, my tractor shed. I've got them hooked up to about 60 watts of solar, and they're pretty dead. Um, if, you, if I turn on the lights in my shed, they go down to like 12.4, 12.3. So I, I went and tested them. You can see how the needle on this one just continues to go down, and it goes right down into the, the red bad area. So the first two batteries were good batteries, although the amp hours weren't 100% in them. These are just plain bad batteries where it's... Uh, dropping down so the voltage just absolutely gets consumed and drops uh, well below what is uh, correct. The next battery I test is in even worse condition. It was sitting around 11 volts and it has a dead cell in it. You can see here uh, when I put the load on it, it goes right down to nothing. It's completely 
completely wrecked. It's not able to hold anything. And you can see it's actually floating at only above 11. It's not even floating above uh, 12 there. So these are those are just two a couple of old solar batteries I had uh, out of a couple of cars and was given. Now I'm going over to some jumper packs. So here's a good jumper pack. This is a DeWalt. Um, and this is my new jumper pack. So I expect it to do uh, fairly well. And it does. It's showing 13 volts. Um, there, it's not been charged in uh, probably a couple of weeks. And when I put the load on, it, it does go into the yellow area, but it's a smaller capacity battery, so I, I wouldn't see, say that's completely unexpected. Although this is expected to be a, an emergency uh, cold cranking amp battery booster, um, so uh, you know I'm surprised it wasn't uh, in the green area for the cold cranking amps, at least at the 200 or 400. Um, and then you can see the voltage after drawing 100 amps from this guy was about 12.5. But that that shows you a good a jumper pack, a, a fresh one. This is uh, new this year, this particular DeWalt. Now I'm going to show you a couple of old jumper packs. And again, for uh, compare and contrast purposes, we're going to take a look at this one. This one is one I got from my friend. The battery is completely wrecked on it. It does hold a charge. You'll notice that it does show uh, 12 to 13 volts. But if you put any load on it, it will go uh, right down to zero. So you know it's it's not holding any amp hour. It's not holding any um, uh, energy in it. <clears throat> so you can see it's sitting over 13 volts there. As soon as I flip it on, uh, it goes right down. And, and that just tells you the battery is completely toast. Now the unit itself uh, is, is completely usable. The buttons work on it. The light works on it. The LED, etc. It's just that the battery is completely uh, wrecked in it. So you could replace the battery. The battery costs 50 to 60 bucks probably to replace from uh, Canadian Tire or whatever your local uh, auto shop is. Uh, but sometimes for the price of the battery it's almost cheaper to get a new jump pack on sale. So that's a look at a very bad jump pack. Now I go to my, my second. You can see the button on it shows uh, low level as well for internal battery status. This is my, uh, my original jump pack, my original Stanley 500 amp jump pack. And I know also the battery in this uh, is uh, on the way out. It doesn't do a lot anymore. It will do basic things like do the USB and the 12 volt plug, and it'll do a light on it. Um, but it does drop down into um, the bad. So the battery, I know the battery needs to be replaced. Again, this isn't a good measure at all for amp hours. Um, and amp hours would be hugely compromised on any of these uh, dead batteries, absolutely. But it does give you a good indication of how much uh, power uh, your battery can put out and is it still maintaining uh, enough uh, capacity to do some usable work, to do something uh, with it. So in terms of solar uh, battery storage, solar power storage, um, most of the batteries that I had that I knew were bad uh, were confirmed as bad. And when they're that low, um, you, you, you can't fix them anymore. You just have to replace them at that point. There's not a lot you can do about it. So that's, uh, that's my little, real quick, short review. It's, it's great for if you have a, a solar off-grid uh, battery bank and you want to test your batteries. Again, it doesn't check your amp hours. You can do that via other method, methods. But this gives you a good, quick indication as to whether it's time to replace the battery to go get something new. For the cost of uh, uh, at least lead-acid batteries, it's fairly cheap to get a 100 amp hour battery for about 140 bucks. I think, at Canadian Tire and to replace some of these and that's a cheap alternative certainly cheaper than lithium ion so 35 bucks uh, on a black friday sale so a little uh, review for you there and hope that helps thanks for watching i'll see you in the next video